Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Samantha Farley. I am a type one diabetic as of February 18th, 2021. And today I wanna to talk about possible cures for diabetes. Wow, I don't even know where to start with the topic of a diabetes cure. If you've heard any stories from people, you know, back in the day, they always say that there's a cure and it's gonna be in our lifetime. Everyone hears that it's been said for decades and unfortunately there's still not a cure yet for type one diabetes. Now for type two, there is a reversal method that can happen once you, you know, start eating healthier and really focus on your diet and nutrition and exercising and all of that. But unfortunately for type one, right now there is no cure. There are solutions to keep us alive like insulin and there's a lot of cool tech tools out there that really help and make our lives a lot easier like Dexcom and other CGMs and insulin pumps. But unfortunately right now there is no cure. And there's a lot of buzz in the news right now for possible cures for type one diabetes. And while all that information is so great, I really, really hope that that is true and there is a cure coming sometime in my lifetime. That would be absolutely amazing, especially because I keep hearing stories about new people that are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and it's so tragic. Not one person, not anyone, should have to live with this disease. It's terrible. As you all know, it's a 24-7 disease and you can't escape from it. It's just always there constantly. And not to mention, if we don't take care of our type 1 diabetes, other things in our body start to fail. And, you know, we can lose our eyesight, we can lose our feet, we can... Get neuropathy i mean there are so many things that can happen if we don't control our blood sugars and it's just really unfortunate that we even have to manually control our blood sugars so if there is a cure coming let's all hope there is because we need it we need it everyone needs it whether you're old or young and you have type 1 diabetes we all deserve to be cured and i know the big hype right now is by i think it's vertex pharmaceuticals where a guy named Brian, I think he was older, maybe around 55 or 56, he got a blood infusion and he is now cured and he doesn't have to take insulin like he did prior with type 1 diabetes. And that was on Good Morning America. It was all over the news. I had friends and family texting me all over the place like, Samantha, Samantha, there's a cure, there's a cure coming. And once again, while I hope that's true, I personally try not to focus on the hype of the cure because even if a cure comes and let's say today they decide it's going to help every single type 1 diabetic, they still have to go through FDA approvals, you know, they still have to go through all the healthcare process and that can take 5, 10, 15 years down the road. And then on top of that, the cost of getting this blood infusion to cure your pancreas or whatever it does, that's gonna cost a lot of money. I was reading an article about it and they said that like, it's going to cost a lot of money where most type one diabetics probably can't afford it. And so, yeah, I mean, this is an amazing accomplishment if they can figure out how to create a cure for type one diabetes, but we might not even be able to get it because we can't afford it. So the whole thing is just, it's hard to take in for me because Yes, I want a cure, but why should I focus on that if I may not even get it for 15, 20 years and I might not be able to afford it down the road? I don't want to spend my time just wishing and hoping that something's going to come. I'd rather just kind of take the problem today and figure out how to handle myself today and control my blood sugars today. If you think about over the past 20 years, all of the new technologies that have come out that have really helped you know, manage your blood sugars, like CGMs, for example, and pumps. It's amazing what they can do. And that's all came about over the past 20 years. So if you think about the next 20 years, we might not have a like legit cure for type one diabetes, but we're gonna have even better tools. We're gonna have, 
I don't know, maybe we'll have like a pump that you can like insert inside your skin or something where you don't have to wear it on your body. I mean, there are so many cool things coming. I just know it. And I know recently two companies merged that were, that are trying to like solve type one diabetes and create new tools, which is great news too. Cause now they're working together, you know, two big, two heads are bigger than one. And so there's so much positivity ahead of us for type one diabetes. But unfortunately, on the flip side of that, they expect the number of people that get type 1 diabetes to increase by like five times, which is so tragic. It really upsets me. I don't like to think about it because as you all know, I've only lived with diabetes for not even two years and it has been the most life changing experience. And I mean, I've met some of the coolest people and all of that, but do I wish I didn't have it? Kinda. <laughs> I wish, you know, I could go out to eat and not have to think about how many carbs are in a meal and not have to think about how much insulin to take and not have to think about what other people are thinking when I'm shooting my pen needle in my arm. And so, yes, I mean, I hope there's new tools coming out. I hope there's new cures, but I'd rather focus on every day by day and really be like, okay, what can I do today to keep my blood sugars in range? You know, what can I do to keep them between 75 and 120? And while I know that's really difficult and some days are harder than others, what can I do today? And I, I don't like thinking about the future or even stressing about like, oh my God, what am I gonna do like this month? My levels have been all over the place, blah, blah, blah. It's, you can't solve something in the future. You have to focus on it today and that's what I'm going to do. How can I take care of myself today? What can I eat specifically at this meal? That's going to include carbs, fiber, fat, protein, and all the things I need to help manage my blood sugars. I know I'm kind of rambling here, but I love that you guys are talking about cures and I love that you wanna know more about cures, but do I actually think it's gonna come in the next few years? No, I don't. And I don't think you should get like excited about it necessarily that's the wrong term probably like you should be excited that there's a possible cure but i don't want you i don't want you to get your hopes up thinking a cure is going to come in the next few years because even if it does like i mentioned the cost of it could be so high and unfortunately most americans aren't billionaires and can't afford this like crazy solution i hope a cure comes of course i hope it comes in my lifetime so that all the future people after me don't have to live with this disease but Right now, I'm just gonna focus on me and my blood sugars every single day, day by day, and try to stay in range. But I don't wanna think about the future and if there's a cure coming because who knows? No one knows. Of course, there's a lot of talk out there, but is there a cure? We don't really know. I would love to know what you guys think. Like if you disagree with me and you're like, there's definitely a cure coming in the next year or whatever, I wanna hear your opinions and I hope you're right. <laughs> if there is a cure coming, I hope you're right. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about that blood infusion. Let me know if there's anything else you've heard about possible cures for type one diabetes. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I know I rambled a ton, I'm sorry, but it's a hot topic. You know, I just go, so I talk a lot. But anyway, I will see you guys next week in the next video. Comment below if you want me to talk about something specific next week and I will make sure to do so. Okay, bye.